I'm Connie, I'm a first year music student at West College. Hi, my name's Molly and I'm in my third year studying French and Spanish at Worcester. Hello, um, I'm Ellen, I'm a second year at Worcester, uh, just going into my third year. I've just got photobombed by my cat, <laughs> that's fun. Goodness me, she's not helping me um, here. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name's Eleanor and I'm just coming up to the end of my first year at Worcester studying PPE. Hi, I'm Alana and I'm one of the student helpers for the Orpen Deer. Um, I'm in my first year of studying biology at Worcester. Mm -hmm. Hi, and I'm a first year at Worcester studying philosophy, politics and economics. Hello, my name's Hannah and I'm a first year music student at Worcester. Oh, hi there, my name is Eden and I study biology. I'm about to start my third year at Worcester. Hi, I'm Isla and I'm a first year law student here at Worcester. Hi, I'm Maddie and I've just finished my first year studying maths here at Worcester College. Hi, I'm Paula, I'm a first year and I study psychology and linguistics. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm a second year mathematician at Worcester. Hi, I'm Tolu and I'm a first year medic at Worcester. Hi, my name is Elle and I'm a second year law student at Worcester College. Hello. My name is Victor and I'm just finishing my second year studying Earth Sciences at Worcester College. Hello, um, my name is Beth. I um, study philosophy and French at Worcester and I'm in second year about to go into my third year. I took French, Spanish and maths for my A-levels back in 2017. I did maths, further maths, uh, physics and creative writing at A-level. For my A-levels I took maths, further maths, economics and French. And for my A-levels I did maths, further maths, biology, Spanish and I also did an EPQ. At A-level I took maths, economics and philosophy. I took A-levels in English literature, music and French and I also did an EPQ in music history and philosophy. For my A-levels I did biology, chemistry, maths and physics. Before coming to university, I did biology, chemistry, psychology and law for my A-levels. I come from a state comprehensive school in Birmingham where I did maths, further maths and physics. Uh, A-level, I did psychology, English language, fine art and music technology beta. Um, so A-levels I took were maths, further maths, economics and Latin. And I did biology, chemistry and French at A-level. Um, when I studied my A-levels, I studied English Literature, English Language and History. And I also did an EPQ that was looking at self-defence laws. So for A-levels, I did English Literature, Music and French. As an international student at Oxford, I didn't take A-levels, but rather the A-level equivalent of my home country, Romania. I went in, it was beautiful, so friendly, and the feeling of community was just really strong. Worcester is quite a big college. It has its own sports pitches, its own lake, and there is also lots of accommodation on site. So it kind of has the feel of being a mini campus. And because of this, there is definitely a strong sense of community, which is probably my favorite thing about living in Worcester. The best thing about Worcester is just how beautiful it is. It's such a lovely place to live. It's so green and it's a nice little break from the city centre. You can see it as soon as you come in. I absolutely fell in love with the grounds. Uh, Worcester, we're just so lucky to have a lovely lake and beautiful gardens that you can just relax in and take some time out of work. And I knew that that outdoor space was going to be really important to me when I was studying. Um, there are amazing facilities like a gorgeous hall and a lecture theatre and sports fields and they were all definitely an added bonus but for me it was the fact that Worcester felt so welcoming. It was like this tiny little bit of an oasis away from the hustle and bustle of Oxford city centre and you know I've been here a year and I still feel the same way. It's just you know you kind of you walk in and it's just so peaceful and it's like a little bit of home. I think we have a fantastic reputation for being friendly. Um, I know probably everywhere will say that but we really really do. I found the Worcester had a really great and friendly atmosphere, something which I've really appreciated for the past year or so, but I've been at Oxford. There's always someone around and everyone's just so nice as well, and um, that's really important to me because I'm from a little town in the middle of nowhere, a home where everyone knows everyone, so it's nice to have that same feeling at uni as I do when I'm at home. 
Um, the reason I picked Worcester was because of the amount of green spaces. So I live in the countryside um, and I couldn't imagine going from living in the countryside and it being quite peaceful to living right in the city centre. I chose Worcester because of its incredibly beautiful looking grounds, because of its proximity uh, to the city centre as well as to the bus and train stations, and also because it offered at least three years of uh, college housing. For me it was really important that I could live three years in college, That's for me that's my whole degree, because um, I know that renting privately in Oxford can often be a bit more expensive than, than living in college, so for me it was really important to be able to have college accommodation. There's probably a bunch of different reasons that I chose Worcester, but the most important for me were probably the fact that it had accommodation for all three years and also good kitchen access for all three of those years. So I went on to the alternative prospectus um, and looked at whether they had kitchens um, and I think something about accommodation in college um, because I didn't trust myself to be an adult and sort out renting a house for first year or whatever. I looked at the senior music tutors of each college and I tried to choose ones that aligned with my interests. There's lots and lots of people doing my subject and I thought it'd be really nice to have that kind of community. Um, it's beautiful, you can go outside for a walk and uh, any time of the day and it's um and it is just absolutely lovely to escape and have a quick wander around the grounds um it's really really wonderful when you're on college grounds it doesn't feel like you're in the middle of a big bustling city and that's because we've got really nice grounds and we're also the only college to have a lake so if you need to get away from it all you can go for a wander around the grounds or around the lake and it just really helps me to kind of relax a little bit you get the best of both worlds in terms of the people that you get to interact with because being a college, you've got that community there, there's always friendly faces around, you see people you know all the time, you feel like you're really part of a family. Um, but equally, Worcester being one of the bigger colleges means that our community is so diverse and I just knew that I was going to find people there that I would have similar interests with. It's about five minutes from the city centre, so shops and cafes and libraries are all really accessible but it's not located on a super busy street, so you kind of have the best of both worlds. I found that Worcester was somewhere where I could really see myself living, and it sort of blew me away with the grounds, because um, it's got obviously the traditional Oxford quad, and the amazing hall, and chapel, and all of that sort of thing. But then if you go deeper into the college, there's sort of new, more modern buildings, like the Nazarene Shah Centre. There's everything you could ever need in college. We have a bar, there's all the food, there's libraries, sports, pictures, and loads of social spaces too, which is great. There's even a 24-hour law library, which has all the textbooks and all the cases that you could ever need for our course, which saves you a little bit of a walk to the faculty. Also, the food is fantastic. Um, especially if you're vegetarian or vegan. Um, I think we ranked second um, in the vegetarian and vegan um, food last year, which is pretty high up the list. Um, and it's really, really affordable as well. Really, really good for you. And uh, often there's, uh, there's always an option that you would like. And there's lots of choice if you've got, um, you know, dietary requirements of any kind. My favorite things about my college are its wide range of uh, student support. It's amazing accommodation options which truly uh, cater to your every need, be it financial or otherwise, and the strong sense of community we have within the college, which also includes great student-staff relations. Something I didn't know about Worcester before I applied is its friendly student community. It's been really welcoming. I'm very lucky to have made close friends within college and to be able to live with them in second and third year. Weirdly, it's felt like home. I was really worried about coming back to studying after having a year out, but everyone's been so supportive and there's a great welfare team as well that's available all year, not just in Freshers Week, which has really helped. Um, I love to dance and I enjoy playing sport, and I've been really lucky to be able to continue doing that in college, yeah. and also pick up some things that I never thought I would, like playing ultimate frisbee, doing Celtic dancing, <laughs> and singing in a concert. I absolutely love it. Can't imagine myself at any other university. The teaching style suits me so well. I absolutely love my subject. It's really
really cheesy, but it definitely is just believe in yourself and go for it. Go for it. What do you have to lose? The admissions process is a great experience in itself. To really make the most of the application process. When applying, you'll often have the chance to read bits about your subject you never actually explored before and find out so much new, new stuff about the subject, which I think is a really great opportunity. Keep pursuing the interests if for the subject that you might choose for university. That might be read a book that catches your attention, watch a film or a documentary, visit galleries or museums. Give yourself a challenge and keep pursuing those interests. Really go with something you want to do rather than something other people want you to do or something you think you should do. Although medicine has always been something that I've been interested in, I didn't fully decide to do it until year 12. So if you're at that stage, it's not too late yet. To research the course content and structure for your subject. To ask as many questions as you want to, send those emails, get in contact with students, all these sorts of things. Go for it and reach out if you need help, um, because there are people who are, you know, backing you <laughs> to make it. To not let the stereotypical Oxford student um, mould put you off applying because it's just not true and you don't need to fit that mould to fit in here or to get a place. Just to forget any kind of stereotype about what you think the typical Oxford student is which, which is preventing you from applying. Obviously give a certain amount of thought to the practicalities but at the end of the day don't get too bogged down in the specifics like choosing a college because wherever you end up you'll probably settle in really nicely probably not to worry too much um to look for ways to show the admissions tutors that aside from your obvious enthusiasm for your subject you also you're also ready and are eager to learn to listen and to 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 make yourself heard if you think that oxford is a place where you could belong then you should apply because you deserve the opportunity to try just as much as anyone else does. Be brave, ignore some of the weird cryptic things that are posted um, and do your research. To just go for it and be brave. It's not as scary as you think and the tutors will have so much more faith in you than you have in yourself. So just take a leap and have some confidence, you'll be fine.